Welcome to the LBJ boyhood home. Not LeBron James. <laughs> Lyndon B. Johnson. Can you tell me which president he was? Um, oh gosh. A United States one? The Good worst idea. answer. Have you ever wondered what LBJ's house looked like when he grew up as a, a small boy to become easily the most dominant Texas president we've ever had? Whoa. That's, those are strong words. Those are deep. Do you know how many Texas presidents we've ever had? Not many. What? One. <laughs> so not only is there a national historical park that's all about Lyndon B. Johnson, there's also a state park that's for Lyndon B. Johnson. And we are going to do all things Lyndon B. Johnson today. We're at the Johnson settlement. Boyhood home of Lyndon B. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I got somebody back here just goofing on me. I'm raising my hand. I was wondering, if we're gonna do everything Thomas Jefferson, does that mean we're gonna run the United States as well? No, we're, we're not even doing everything Thomas Jefferson. Lyndon B. Johnson, uh, Lyndon, well, not, not Thomas Jefferson. Thomas that was a good Jefferson one, good answer. So I think we're gonna head over to the settlement where the ranch is. And we're gonna take a look at that first and then we're gonna go over to the boy at home. It was his home from the age of five until he was married at 26. So. 26? Yeah. Wow. And what was the name of his wife that he married? Ladybird? Ladybird. Is that her real name? I don't know. It's a cool name though. It is so cool. Hey, Lady Bird. I'm, I'm super into it. I wish now that your name was Robin Bird. No? Too soon? My name's already a bird. So we're right on the outskirts of Fredericksburg. I say outskirts. We're probably about 15, 15 miles. miles or so from Fredericksburg. And we almost passed this place. Literally wasn't even paying attention. Then we were like, what? Lyndon B. Johnson Homestead? Yes, please. Yeah, because this um, historical park is actually in two different sections. So there's the section that has the boyhood home and the ranch, and then there's the other section that is right next to the state park that has the Texas White House. And then I don't know what that is. some additional uh, farm things with LBJ. So we're on this little trail now. Mm -hmm. A little nature trail you can see here. Nature. See here. See here. Nature. So that was the original Johnson house? No, that's just, well, his grandfather lived there. Okay. And they ran the cattle business out of it. Holy cow, these trees are massive. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, look how massive that tree is. It's huge. Is that the biggest tree in Texas? I don't know. earlier there's actually two presidents from texas Oops. can you name the other one we've been to their homestead thomas jefferson. nope not thomas jefferson Abe Lincoln. nope it's George in Washington. it's in oh. it's up in uh mm -hmm. we've seen his head 
up in the Denton area. Uh, let's call him Dwight. Oh, D. Eisenhower. Eisenhower. And Lyndon B. Johnson. Sorry. Sorry for that earlier statement. So now we're heading to his boyhood home so that we can check that out. Okay. And then we'll head to the second uh, area of this park and the state park. Good. Okay, let's go. On to the next one before it closes. What's the next one? The state park and historic part section. Of Lyndon B. Johnson? No, this is like a totally different thing. Oh, really? We're over at Lyndon B. Johnson. No more LBJ? No, done. Yes, it's Lyndon B. Johnson. Oh, I was hoping LeBron James was finally gonna make it. Different LBJ. Different LBJ. So we have just arrived at the state park and uh, they actually have a living history farm here. So we definitely want to experience that and experience the park. And one of the reasons that we have to come to the state park first is because in order to drive over to the other part of the National Historic Park, you have to get like a permit or a ticket or something and they issue those at the state park. So we want to experience that, get the ticket and then go over to the other half of the historical park. And this is actually where he was born, right? This is actually- his, Not the state park, the, the historical, historical park. park. That's where he, where he was, was born. born, yeah. So, you know, this dude apparently just owns this area. I mean, everything Johnson City, Johnson State Park, National Historic Park. Yeah. I mean, LBJ. He did good stuff. Okay, so we were able to get our permit. You just talk to the ranger and it's free. Super easy and it's free, yeah. And she said that you have to enter the gate to the National Historical Park by four o'clock and they close the gate at 5 30. So okay. as long as you're in it, by four o'clock and out by 5.30. And of course you could go anytime before that. But first we're gonna go check out the Living History Museum that's here. That's Cause we wanna here. see that, yeah. Okay. We wanna see that before we leave. It does not smell good in here because it's a barn and there's random things. I don't know if this is sketchy or cool. A little bit of both. This is utterly amazing. Uh -huh. That was the worst joke. Dad joke. <laughs>
got to get to the National Historical Park, which is on the other side, because it's the gate closes at four o'clock. You can still be in there until 5:30, but we have to get in there before four o'clock. So. And according to the current time, it is 3:25 in the p.m. So. We should have plenty of time. We need to get to hoofing it, y'all. Uh, yeah, but we don't want to take go. After a long, treacherous five-minute drive, we made it from the state park over to the National Historic Park area. And now, guess what, y'all? We're checking out the birthplace. This is technically where he was birthed, true? It's not technically, it is. Oh, it's not technically. It is where it's he was birthed. Birthplace. This is the and, birthing house. And over at the state park, the one of the guys said that one of the daughters that lived over at the at the house over at the state park at the farm she was the midwife who helped deliver lbj what say you, it again do you remember what no. that, when he said that yeah say it again so you gotta be there's a family that lived over at the farm okay. over there the family and they had daughters and one of the daughters was the midwife that helped deliver LBJ. Oh, I see. You get it now? I Did see. Did I not explain myself well? I'm really, I, I'm just not. I thought good at you were talking about like things. somebody over there was alive. No. You're so dramatic. I was scared. What did you think was going to be in there? Poop. A hole of crap. <laughs> oh. So what else are we going to see while we're here? Well, we're definitely... Are you going to hold hands? Yeah, oh, I do. That's sweet. Uh, we, I definitely want to go to the White House of Texas. Yes. So I just sounds really intriguing and I just, I really want to see it. Yeah. So we're going to go check that out. just found the jet for the president, uh, LBJ, and I think uh, we can go inside of it. That's the Texas White House. Apparently that's what it's called. I don't know, but. It's not the real one. It's not the real White House. It's the Texas White House. Yeah. Because apparently that's where our boy LBJ, whenever he would come back here, would totally hang out. I think one of the things that I'm noticing about just all of the LBJ things that we've seen today is that there really is something for everybody. So when we were at the state park section, they had that living history farm and that was such a good thing for kids like we were all about the animals seeing for those. this kid that was awesome and then there's so much history in there but then also at the national historic site there's just all of the i mean you can go from his birth all the way through his presidency and just see like the impact dead. that he's had not only on the united states but on texas and it's just really neat to sort of get like more of a full view of this person because there are multiple sites to be able to experience right in this area so yeah i definitely think that it's a great place and if you are in the area you should definitely check it out so we're gonna take um a drive past the uh, texas white house on our way out and then experience all of the big trees and get out of here yeah let's get out of here